All right, so what I've got here, this is a, a blue, and we've got a little molt going on here. We're not very old. This is a mini lock. This is a boy. He is a blue uh, color. Real, really great looking rabbit. He's, he's just really coming along very nicely. Got an amazing fur on him. But this is an example of a solid. Now, solids can also be like your chestnuts. Um, you know, he's, this guy is just, in, I just love this guy. He's just handles so beautifully, just a wonderful guy. But this is an example of, of a, of something that's not broken. Now you will notice, and you, and this is maybe, you know, you look at, at some of the pads of the feet and you'll see there's some white there on the pads. That's, that's not, that's normal. Almost all, uh, rabbits you're going to see some white on the pads of the feet however we're not um, not worried about that we're talking about in general the body here that uh, this rabbit here is what we would call a a solid it's the best example that i can give you of a solid uh, chestnuts are also uh, solids uh, oranges will be solids even though they may have a white belly they're going to be solids Okay, so that's what we're describing when we're talking about a solid. Uh, next up, I'm going to grab our little friend out here that's out here playing, if I can. <laughs> and he's had so much fun when he gets to come out and play. Oh, I know, tear it up, tear it up. So I'm going to uh, see what we, who I can grab, and um, we'll show you what a broken looks like. Okay, so I, I managed to get a hold of him here. Now this here is Jasper. He is also a mini lop. Um, you'll notice in him that he's got this patchy white look going on. He is what we call a broken chestnut. And the reason he's broken chestnut is because he has the normal chestnut color that we're looking for. And he's still got a little bit of molt going on, but for the most part, he's in good shape. Um, but Jasper here is an actually really good guy. He's a lot of fun to have in the rabbitry. He's very sweet. and But he possesses just one copy of the broken, broken allele. Only one. Um, and because of him only having one, we only have partial white okay okay so this is one copy of that gene um, you the one copy of the gene will doesn't necessarily tell you how much white you're going to get um, necessarily um, as far as the balance of color on him he's got way too much white up front and we we have no white here at the back so i'm not real excited about the, the his his overall color saturation across his entire body but he's a sweetheart he's a great breeder and and you know when you work in rabbits you're going to have guys that are your favorites obviously and some that just are incredible um, personalities and and this is a personality here that that will live with us forever uh, he's he loves to come out and just sit in your lap sometimes and just get loves and then he loves to play. He plays harder than, than so many of our rabbits um, and for hours at a time. So, but this is a, an example of just one copy of, of that, of that uh, allele being present. Let me get you a rabbit that has two copies of that broken um, gene present. That way you can really see the difference. Okay, what is going on? Okay, there we go. Got this to focus a little bit better. So what we're looking at here, this is Mini Rex. Um, his name is Bandit. He is a proven, uh, what we call a Charlie. Now, a Charlie is a description of a color uh, where the color has been more or less he, he possesses two copies of the of the broken gene or the broken allele he has you know the capital E in 
he has two copies of that. Now, what happens is, is we see even less color on our rabbit than we do with just one copy, uh, which gives us this broken. So he's he, you're going to get some coloration on the face. You're going to get color usually on the ears. And then usually you'll get some spotting down the back here. Now, you ask, well, what good does a Charlie do for you? Um, it actually has some, some major benefits. Uh, Charlies um, are useful in, in working with uh, tricolor in particular. They're also uh, excellent at creating full litters of broken rabbits, a true Charlie will. So if I take for like tricolor, which we in many wrecks is what we will primarily work with, what we will do is we will take a harlequin that has no white whatsoever, has no broken genes, and we'll breed Mr. Bandit here to our 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 uh, to our harlequin. And what will happen is is that means that with his two copies of the broken gene and our harlequin that has no copies of the broken gene, we breed the two together. It means we get an entire litter of of tricolor. Okay. Uh, now, keep in mind, you're going to have to have the right kind of Charlie. All right, you're going to need a Harlequin based Charlie. And we know he's a Harlequin based Charlie. You can look at the ears. This is Harlequin. And the coloration is Harlequin. Basically, you could call him a tricolor if you really wanted to, but he, he's not a proper tricolor because he, he only has one copy. Um, he does have the black, the orange, and the white. He's a black orange. Uh, uh, in white rabbit and on a pedigree information we'll, we'll put him down as a black orange harlot uh, tricolor but uh, he's in fact a Charlie um, so that's the, the improvement of, of what you can do with with a Charlie let's say for instance we wanted to go with we wanted to create a litter of uh, broken blues well what we can do is we could take a, a Charlie that is broken blue or broken black. Um, but if we're wanting to create black, broken blacks, we would need to, to, to you know, uh, use broken black. If uh, we're breeding it, uh, let's say uh, we wanted to get broken blues, we would have to take a blue rabbit and we would have to put it with a uh, a Charlie that was, was blue to continue that dilute. Uh, out of the whole kit, but you will get a full litter of kits. Okay, that's the only thing that you can get. Okay, now it doesn't now whether there's something hiding at C that could be uh, causing a problem in what colors you get out of a litter. Uh, if you're focusing basically on broken, the 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 only the best way to create broken is to take a a solid color and and then introduce a Charlie, okay? That that'll that'll fit fit what you're trying to do. Um, and this is the best example I can give you of a Charlie. He's he's and enough of a proven Charlie, okay? So don't forget to like, subscribe to all these videos. We have so many lessons. Go back, watch them if you have questions. Uh, there's some great information there. And, and you get to see a lot of different rabbits and a lot of different colors. Some of the things that we're going to be doing uh, in the, the next few episodes, uh, you're probably not going to see a whole lot with, uh, such as the silvering gene. Uh, we've got uh, Dutch rabbits. So if you're working in Dutch, we want to, we want to get you the, the information on how to uh, write their genotypes in Dutch. And then we have other colors, and then we we're going to wrap up with the Vienna um, and some other th other things and some tidbits. And then, like I say, we'll, we'll talk more about breeding strategies and, and uh, talking about writing genotypes after we get to the end of the series here on covering each of these locus points. So this is going to be great, especially it'll all start to kind of come together. But really, like I say, the next three or four episodes... You may run into it, you may not, and, it's, and some of that stuff's going to be very breed specific. But until uh, the next episode, uh, enjoy the videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe.